Welcome to Yokogawa's How-To Videos. My name is Zheng Li and I'm an Applications Engineer for the Yokogawa's Test and Measurement Division. Today I would like to show you how to measure voltage, current, and other power-related measurements for your AC system using two different types of input filters that Yokogawa Power Analyzers offer. These are called the line filter and the frequency filter. Filters do help ensure measurement accuracy, but that is not always the case. I will tell you the reasons why. The line filter is a low-pass filter inserted into the voltage and current measurement input circuits. Therefore, it directly affects the voltage, current, and power measurements. When the line filter is turned on, measured values will not contain high-frequency components. This includes all the harmonics or interharmonics from high-frequency components. Take a look at these voltage PWM waveforms captured by the Yokogawa WT1800 power analyzer. Both of these waveforms are the same signal. However, the line filter is turned off for the top waveform. The line filter is turned on for the bottom waveform. Since high frequency components are filtered, the bottom waveform is left with only the fundamental components. Another way to look at this difference is to look at the numerical RMS values of these signals. The frequency filter is inserted into the frequency measurement input circuits and affects only frequency measurements. As shown in the diagram, the frequency filter is in parallel with the measurement circuit. Therefore, the frequency filter does not affect voltage, current, and power measurements directly, nor will it filter out any of the high frequency components. The main advantage of using the frequency filter is that it affects the detection of the measurement period for voltage, current, and power measurements. This is also a key advantage of using a power analyzer instead of an oscilloscope to make power measurements. The frequency filter acts as a filter for detecting the zero crossing of the synchronization source more accurately. A typical use of this filter comes handy when measuring PWM signals. Since PWM signals have a fundamental frequency with high switching frequency components like this, power analyzer can sometimes struggle with locking onto the measurement period of the signal's fundamental frequency to make accurate power measurements. On Yokogawa's power analyzers, this fundamental frequency is used to measure the RMS values of voltage, current, and power using integer number of cycles. This gives you accurate power measurements. Let's take a look at voltage frequency measurement data. The data on the top is before the frequency filter was turned on, and the data at the bottom is after the frequency filter was turned on. Notice the difference in frequency measurements. Now let's talk about disadvantages of using line filters and or frequency filters. In general, it is our recommendation that you do not use line filters when making efficiency or harmonics measurements. If you filter the high frequency components, the voltage, current, and power measurements are altered, which in turn affects the overall efficiency measurements. With line filters turned on, you are not measuring the power contributed by the higher frequency components. Therefore, your overall efficiency measurements are better than it actually is. In general, we recommend that the frequency filter should be turned on. For the best results, you want to set the frequency filter closest to your fundamental frequency. On Yokogawa's 1800 power analyzer, the line filter consists of analog filter that you can set for 300 kHz and 1 MHz frequency, and digital filters that you can set ranging from 100 Hz to 100 kHz. However, frequency filter only consists of analog filters that you can set for 100 Hz and 1 kHz. This is it for today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact any of our applications engineers or please visit us at tmi.yokogeta.com.